Have I ever met Daft Punk? Awkwardly once, yes. But not not met. More like kind of got yelled at and stared at funny and then I walked away. Just all sorts of awkward. I've never met Scooter Braun. For all I know, he's a swell human being. <laughs> yeah, the title thing. I, I walked in on a shared dressing room that was like mine and Daft Punk's and I walked into two like French guys with no shirts on with the, the kind of helmets off to the side. Like I wasn't supposed to be in there, but I was at the same time because they were like, sorry, you guys are going to have to use the thing. And then I walked in and then I like, I just kind of waved and then they were just like staring at me funny like I wasn't supposed to be in there maybe I wasn't I don't know but I just walked over the fridge and grabbed a beer and then left <laughs> have I ever DJed with Chris Shepard no he's crazy he's crazy I I once set up DJ Chris Shepard's DJ gear no I I was supposed to be there though because it was just yeah. Yeah, I walked in and took a beer out of what I thought was my fridge, but I guess it was like the fridge, right? So I was like, hmm. I didn't say, well, like, what do you, what, what do I say to that? You know, hi, guys, I'm, you might have heard of me. I'm Dead Mouse. I hear you, <laughs> you don't listen to me for pleasure, right? And like, I don't know. They were mad I wasn't drinking wine. Uh, yeah, I've, I've met the Justice dudes a couple times. They're, they're nice guys. They're cool. Well, at least when I knew them, this was before they were like super huge or whatever. I I, I would always see the one guy uh, at, the, at the airport. And, and I would always see Goldie, DJ Goldie, like uh, in the subway in London, like in the in the. Uh, in the underground i would always see him in there like the, like and it's really hard to like run into someone you know in that subway system but i would always see him like in passing really weird and but and then i but more than once which is even weirder you know it's like like dude do you live in here i you know what i i i have met the above and beyond guys but honestly i don't i there's like a lot of them it's like three of them right three yeah, but they all play differently. You know what I mean? Like there's they they like one guy will play a, an above and beyond set, but it's just him. You know, and then the other two might be off doing something else or they or just two of them. But I've never seen all three of them together ever. Yeah, John O'Grant, I know. That that's the one guy I know and then the the other dudes I I've met, I'm sure, but like it's just like for their big shows, I'm sure they do all three, of course, but like I don't I've never seen them all three together. It's always like, well, who's missing? <laughs> oh, I love Fortet. Fortet and Floating Points. And I like Rogi Ikata too. Not exactly easily listening, but like, I, yeah, I kind of wish I, the only reason really I ever took the regret not taking off my head is because I could just like send someone else, you know? And I would have gotten away with it too, I'm sure. You know what? I think, I think, I think that, that, that their Genesis record was completely done in garage band i think like like literally from start to finish like mastering and everything yeah it was wasn't it i mean it works <laughs> ain't broke but that's that's really weird who makes up death pact you know what i talked to death pact i think i talked to death pact hang on i we had some really weird moment um let me let me slide oh yeah 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 i've totally talked to the guy or guys i don't even know but um it was uh we had a really funny exchange oh he said uh so, some we were just talking about some funny thing and he goes oh big fan but you already knew that and i go people still think i'm you and he goes people still think i'm you he goes could be worse and i go yeah you could be marshmallow and he's like stop 